So in this video today, I wanted to speak about off-market property, right? So if you're in the market looking for your next home or investment and don't know how to get access to off-market property, then this video, you're gonna get a ton of value on just how to do this. And full disclaimer, I am a buyer's agent, right? I do own a buyer's agent company and the rhetoric across the sector from my colleagues and other businesses is that only we can get access to these off-market properties and that could be further from the truth. In fact, you can do this too, just like us. You can buy off-market property and in this video, you're gonna learn just how to do that. What's up guys, Troy Sambasini here, CEO and founder of Life Buyers Agency, where we help everyday Aussie legends just like you minimize your downside risk and maximize your upside potential when purchasing residential real estate across our specialized locations in Queensland. We have Central Queensland Capricorn Life, we have North Queensland Tropical Life, and we have Southeast Queensland Sunshine Life, and we take pride in our company ethos. We listen, we deliver. Let's go. So the first thing you wanna to do to get an off-market listing is sign up to a database, right? So once you've shortlisted a suburb, um, found out who was, find out actually who was a top selling agent in that suburb, and then sign up to their database, right? They might be Ray White, they might be Remax, they might be a boutique agency. Sign up to the database, you know, of the top one, two, three uh, agents in that suburb that are selling a lot of stock, and you will be able to get alerts via email of potential off-market listings, right? And you can get real-time access to these properties sometimes before they even go on the market. In addition to that, what we also find is that a lot of these agents, particularly if there's a breakdown of a contract, you might have actually missed out on this property because it went under contract. What we actually find that if there is a breakdown of contract and you know a, a buyer has pulled out of the transaction, what agents would generally do before they go back onto the market, before they have another open home, before they you know change the status of it on realestate.com or domain, is that they send the e-blast out to their database saying, you know, contract has crashed, this property is now available again. It is now back on the market. So you could potentially jump on that before anyone else. So sign up to a database. The next one is, there is this um, tool on domain when you download the app uh, that gives you off-market alerts, right? So generally what agents are doing, um, once they've sort of went, went through the property, signed up a Form 6, took some photos, there's a bit of a lag between when the listing goes live on the different portals such as realestate.com and domain, there is a bit of a lag there. So what they actually do is set, um, an off-market alert right on domain where you can get advised that this property is about to go onto the market it's going to get loaded in the next 24 48 hours but here is the property it's currently off market so you can potentially get an alert that hey this property is about to come to the market and jump on it before any other buyers. You'll have a photo of the property, a brief description, and all the agent's details. You can pick up the phone right away and jump straight on it. So download the domain app, filter the suburbs you want alerts from, your price point, and then you'll start to get various alerts if a property sits within your criteria. Good luck with that one. Build relationships. So this is a really important one, and we're lucky enough as buyers agents to transact a lot in the marketplace. Therefore, you know, we've maintained and established strong relationships with various uh, individual agents as well as agencies as well. So we're lucky enough that given that we transact a lot, given that we have these relationships, we get access to a lot of pre-market and off-market opportunities. But in saying that, it's not some trade secret that's only available to us. You can get these off-market properties as well. If you take the time to build relationships with these agents, whether it's a you know a simple phone call, you know, once a week just to say, hey, you know, it's Troy here, me and my family, you know, just reminding you that we're pre-approved, we're ready to buy now. This is our criteria, Mr. Agent. 
and you're giving them a call once or twice a week, just letting them know that you know you're ready to go, and then you'll become front and center in their mind as the for property does come up. You, they, they're probably the first ones you're thinking about because you've made the effort to build a relationship. And we find that when you go to open homes as well, walk through, have a look, and then don't just walk out the door and put an offer in blindly. Actually hang around. We actually, when we go to most open homes, we actually either we actually either go in very early and first to help the agent actually set up the property, get it prepared for the open home, so that we're actually helping them out, building relationship, or we're actually the last ones to come in and the last ones to leave because we're hanging around helping them close up shop and building relationship. And then we actually then can ask a lot of the questions we wanna ask about the property, but these are simple ways that you can build relationships with agents. Number four, and this is probably a hack of what a lot of property developers do, and mum and dad and um, developers as well, but big property development companies generally are doing what we call letterbox drops directly to vendors. Funny enough, agents will actually do letterbox drops, and that's a key part of how they prospect for business. So they might sell a house on a particular street, get a great result, and all of a sudden they're blitzing the streets with letters to all of the homeowners on the street saying, hey, we've got a fantastic result, you know, two doors down the road. If you're open to selling, you know, give us a call. So agents not only prospect directly to vendors to get their listings, developers are also going directly to vendors through letterbox drops and doing private treaties off markets. So if agents are doing it to find business, if developers are doing it to find the next site, you as a home buyer can do this also. So once you've shortlisted some suburbs, shortlisted some areas, shortlisted some properties in different streets, I'll be writing a handwritten letter, putting it in their letterbox and giving that a crack also. And who knows, you might get a call from a vendor and you guys might be able to do a private off-market treaty. So give that one a crack. This one's, a, this one's only available really, or only can be done by those that are on the ground in the area that they want to buy. You can drive around the suburb and look for what we call for sale signs. So a lot of people don't know is that what agents generally tend to do is that once they've signed a form six, they go through the listing process of getting photos done, videos, um, collating all the property data and then loading it onto the portals. But that, there's a bit of a lag between when they do that versus when it goes online. So the first and easiest most thing for them to do is to physically grab a for sale sign out of their office, go out there and nail it into the ground. And we find that if you drive around a suburb and you see some of these, just quickly jump on your phone and go, all right, 44 um, so-and-so street, and just look to see if it's actually currently listed. And if it's not, then you know that it is an off-market property and the listing's left yet to go live. And you could potentially jump on you know, that property before anyone else does. So um, we've done this many times um, and you can do that as well. So jump in the suburb, look for signs on the ground and just cross-reference that address to see if it's currently listed online because there is a lag between when the listing goes online um, versus when these pegs go into the ground. So good luck with that one. And the last one, and probably my most favorite um, is social media. So agents themselves have their own personal social media pages, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook. In addition to that, the agencies have um, their own social pages as well. And what we find is that if an agent is you know, out getting a, 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 a photo done or video on a property, they quickly do what we call sneak peeks, right? Um, here's a sneak peek of a property that's about to come onto the market next week. Um, if you, sounds as though this might be a fit for you, give us a call. So social media is a great way where you could potentially, you know, get visibility of an off-market property uh, simply before it goes onto the marketplace. So social media, you want to follow the agencies and then the individual agents that you've shortlisted to know that oh, these are the agents that are selling the most stock in the suburb that I want to buy at my price point. 
and you're following them on their socials. And that's also a good way to build a relationship because you can comment on their sales, you can like their posts, you can private message them. It's an easy form of communication as well. And it's very casual. You're not sending, you know, these, you know, um, really formal emails. You're just saying, you know, in someone's DMs or in someone's private messenger, you're saying, hey, mate, um, my name's so-and-so. Have you have that pro property you just put on the market there saying that it's about to come on and it's a sneak peek? Is that... You know, can you tell them a bit more about that and they'll be able to send you some information about that. So social media, a really good one. Well, those are some of the tips, guys, to how to get an off-market property. As I said before, it's not some, you know, industry or trade secret that only buyers agents get access to off-markets. Yes, we do, and we're very blessed to have, you know, um, a visibility of a lot of off-market and pre-market opportunities, but you yourself, as a buyer, can do this too and... Here are a few tips from the team at Life Buys Agency. Thank you. I hope that's helped. And bye for now.